we are living the world where so much is happening and this has not left our lives the same a lot of things have changed they will have been doing things at home uh, in the society in a, at our workplaces in our places of worship everything has changed we are living the world where so much is happening for the past six months things have changed the way we used to do things have changed but the question is what is next what are we going to do next we have been inconvenienced in different ways whether you're a rich person a poor person or middle class person we have been inconvenienced pupils are uh, students um, business people uh, different institutions have been inconvenienced but then life has to go on a rich person has uh, all the money has the connections to fly to any country he wants to to go to any vacation to have any kind of meal to have any luxury he wants in life but at a point in life he couldn't during this period of time and we are under the same program we are under the same situation so a poor person of course is a poor person of course is struggling every day to feed his family to earn something but he cannot he cannot and this has led to high levels of domestic violence people are killing themselves people are killing themselves people are fighting with each other people are violating each other young girls young boys are being abused in one way or the other students cannot go to school some can afford online learning others cannot because um we are of different status and the middle class person cannot spend the way he used to spend or she used to spend why because at the point that person has to really mind the way he or she says if she used to have a meal of 20k a lunch of 20k now it's either 5,000 or 10,000 or even 3,000 so I believe this is a time each one of us has been inconvenienced and we really have to move on we really have to move on this is the time that we need to have time with ourselves get to know ourselves you know be there for ourselves so that it's very easy for us to be there for other people uh, let us use this time to discover so many things about us a case in point I have a friend of mine that um, one day I asked her besides your profession what other skills do you have I should say I don't know even I've never thought of that I was like you know what you need to find out and during this time she discovered her love for cooking she can cook out you know she's trying out new recipes she loves being in the kitchen if she had not had time with herself getting to know her potential I don't believe she would have discovered this so the time she was at home during this period of time she discovered her love for cooking at least now that is good for her so each one of us we can polish our potential skills some of us we have skills but we don't know that we have skills so we need to get to know where you feel so we need to know some of the things that make us happy so the moment you get to know just like that my friend who is now very good at cooking and i really can't wait to try out her recipes because i already see the pictures and yeah, it makes me happy that at least she discovered something unique about herself so each one of us out there we need to polish our skills some of us uh, had skills and because we didn't have time to interact with them so this is the time and I spent a good number of weeks giving attention to myself because in this life I know that I cannot give away what I don't have so I really had to spend time with myself and I was doing those things to myself the first week actually I was telling myself hey you are very beautiful and you don't know 
how many great things you can do. Second, every time I did something, I could tell myself, Oh, Irene, thank you for cooking this food. Irene, thank you for eating. Irene, thank you for arranging the house. Thank you for smiling. Thank you for waking up early. I had issues with waking up early. Thank you for waking up early. So I tried to appreciate myself in the best way I can. And sometimes I could tell myself, you know what? Irene, the truth is you are not doing right in this area. You need to improve it. Otherwise, everything you've been struggling to achieve will be in vain. I appreciated myself than you can imagine. So everything I did in the course of that, I was appreciating myself. Even smiling. Every time I felt like okay, I was developing a worry in my heart. And kind of like concerned developing. I could sit down myself and like Irene. Okay, it's true that is happening. It's very, very true that things are not working out the way you expect them to work out. But then you really have to be strong for someone else who might call you at any time from now or who might knock at, the, at your door at the point. So with all that, I discovered the joy and the peace I found in getting to spend time with me. So with that, now it's very easy for me to have time for other people because I know when and how to do it. So the reason that's why I shared all this is because we need to stand in for ourselves. We need to have time with ourselves. We need to know ourselves. We need to, to know what makes us happy. Yes. You might be there thinking, okay, this is what is making me happy, but yet you are not. And the end of it all, we are in a critical situation, things change, people are losing jobs, people are struggling to find something to eat, but then we cannot find better ways to overcome this situation simply because our minds are occupied with things that are not going to help us. My sister, my brother, there is so much you can do so we try to come out of this situation little by little but but if you are not willing to do that then it will really be hard for 